Hey guys, Ginger here, and today it's time for some Christmas book miss ad libs. <laughs> so this was something I started last year that's kind of like cool, kind of. I mean, it depends on who you are. And I, I more think it's unique, like not something a lot of people do for book miss. So I decided to add it into my version of book miss and I enjoyed doing it. So we are back again this year doing another Mad Libs using my shelf of books to pick out the words. So I went on good old trusty Google and found a Mad Libs that is called Going Caroling. And so that is the little blurb story we are going to be filling out with the books. I believe I didn't watch my video from last year. I just like randomly closed my eyes and found a book and then we opened to a random page and the first word we saw we used. So that is what we are going to do and hopefully this is fun and exciting and funny to do. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the beginning of the Mad Libs goes Tis the blank season for caroling, and so we are looking for an adjective. I am drawing a big blank. What is an adjective again? Adjectives are just descriptive words. I'm such a stupid person. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to our Mad Libs. Okay, so we are going to be looking for a descriptive word, and yeah, I am blanking out. We are going to be looking for an adjective in one of my books, so I'm just going to go ahead, close my eyes, and feel around, and we're going to go with this one for our first book. What do we have here? I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh is our first book. So we are just going to randomly open, look for an adjective. Uh, hurt? I don't think hurt would work in this. Mm. Okay, so the next one I saw was dead. So we're going to go with Tis the Dead Season. No. Yeah, Tis the Dead Season for Caroling. Perfect. That's, that's what we're doing so far. You know, I should probably write these words down because I'm bad with remembering things. We're gonna write these down. So the first word we have is dead. All right, moving on to word number two. Here's how to make everyone's Christmas a little more merry and blank. So another adjective we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and just pick this book right, nope, not that one. Uh, this book right here, which I, oh my goodness, what, what am I doing? Picking this book right here. Uh, I see why we're not picking that book. It's stuck. <laughs> okay, we're going to pick this book right here. What do we have? Red Rising by Pierce Brown. So we are going to open it up and find our adjective. That is a name. Uh, so the first word I saw is tired. <laughs> so we have merry and tired. A little more merry and tired. Yeah, uh, I feel like caroling would definitely make things tired. <laughs> would it be tiring? Merry and tiring. Can I change it? I think it's my, it's my freaking Mad Libs. I can do whatever I want. We're changing it to tiring because I think that's funnier. Makes more sense. Tiring. Thank you. Red Rising. Another book I really need to get to. All right. Then we are looking for a number, adjective, plural noun in the next sentence. So first we are looking for a number. This one's going to be probably a little trickier. Um, okay. I'm going to pick off my stack here. Okay, so this is an ARC copy I have. We keep the dead close. This is supposed to be like an auto or a biography. So hopefully there's a number in here somewhere. A dozen. Oh my goodness. It's actually there is a number. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, a dozen is our number. I mean, I guess that's 12, but we'll say a dozen. Then we have another adjective. I don't feel like moving to my other um, bookshelf. So what do we have here? A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I actually just read this one not a long ago and it is beautiful, five star. You'll probably see it on my favorite books of the year list. Uh, so an adjective. Let us find an adjective. Ah, uh, the adjective I have here is late. Late is our adjective from A Monster Calls. Okay. And then to finish the sentence, we need a plural noun. Plural noun. Okay, I have a stack down here. We'll go with uh, Minor Prophets by Jimmy Cajoles. Uh, this book I got a review and I just like want to read it, but I'm still not sure if I want to read it, you know? So anyway, let's find a plural noun in here. Plates. Plates is our plural noun. All right. All right, so let's read this sentence. Gather a dozen of your late friends and family plates together. Family plates. So we need late friends and family plates. Okay. This is not as funny as I was hoping it would be, but we're, we're making it work. Pick out a few classic blank to sing. So more plural nouns. I think it's supposed to be carols. Okay, let's try this side. Let's, uh, um, okay, we'll do this one. What do we have? 
The Beautiful by Renee Audier, another book I recently read. Um, so we're looking for a plural noun. Plural noun. Hello? Plural noun. Fiends. Fiends is our plural noun. <laughs> Okay, that was actually like that took me way too long because I opened up to a monologue and there really weren't that many plural nouns on it. All right, moving right on along. So we have pick out a few classic fiends to sing, like have yourself a blank little Christmas, silver blank and frosty the blank man. So we need an adjective, a plural noun and a noun. So we'll find our adjective first. We're gonna pick this book, which is a warrior's book, Rising Storm. So we are looking for that adjective. Uh, better is our adjective here. Better. Okay. No, my sack! This is why you don't film multiple videos in a row because you then you get a growing stack of books and they fall over. Just words of advice. Uh, so now we're looking for a plural noun. Uh, let's go back down to this area down here. I don't think you can even see my face. What do we have? Okay, Micro by Michael Crichton and Richard Preston. So this one should be fun, a plural noun. All right, we got Blades as our plural noun. Cool, Blades. All right, and then we need a, just a normal noun, it said. So we'll go with Nivernight by Jay Kristoff. Noun time. Blood is my noun. <laughs> I feel like I should have figured that they're picking that. Blood is our noun. So let's uh, figure out what songs we're singing, guys. We have Have Yourself a Better Little Christmas, Silver Blades, and Frosty the Blood Man. We are definitely singing those fiends for sure. <laughs> no, that actually like worked out kind of cool. I like that. I like that so far. All right, we are halfway through this little uh mad libs game so next we have put santa blank on everyone's heads and blank your neighbor's house so we need a plural noun and a verb i realize i'm taking forever to do this i need to be a little quicker i need to be quicker than that what do we got the killing lessons by saul black let's we have the plural noun first yes plural noun um plural noun plural noun let's find a plural plural noun stop being singular nouns all right, we're gonna try a different page. I literally didn't find anything on there. Persons, persons, there we go. The only problem I'm having doing this is I'm really messing up my bookshelf, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fix that. What did I say? Persons, persons. Okay, and then we need a verb. Okay, what's this one? We have The Diviners by Libba Bray. Let's find our verb. Okay, so I can't find like just a normal verb. I have a lot of ed or ing's so we're gonna go with the first one i saw which is kneel at or it was kneeling but we're gonna change it into just a verb so it's gonna be kneel so we are put santa persons on everyone's heads and kneel to your neighbor's houses what cult are we starting here <laughs> knock blank times on the front blank nothing knock blank more times a number a noun a number and an adverb I think to make this interesting for this next little segment we're gonna pick one book and get all of our words from it so what book are we going to pick? We are going to pick Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And I just dropped Clarice. I am so rude. I'm sorry, Clarice. I will put you back. I didn't mean to drop you. Anyway, so our next four words are coming from Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is such a good book. I really need to continue on with the series. I loved this. Um, so first we need a number. Let's go ahead and find a number. A thousand is the number. <laughs> okay. Uh, a thousand thousand and then we need what a noun no yes we need a noun so flip to the next page wishbone is our noun okay wishbone. then we need another number it seems <sighs> number number i think actually finding a number on the first try was very lucky of me okay no number on that page let's try closer to the front let's see none there let's go another page Finding uh, numbers is actually pretty hard. 17, okay, there is our number, 17. And then we just need an adverb. So we're looking for an L-Y word. Okay, abruptly, okay. Abruptly is our adverb. So thank you, Daughter of, Smo Spoke Smo Daughter of Smoke and Bone, for giving us all of the words we need for this little section and then we will only need three more words so for this section we have knock a thousand times on the front wishbone nothing knock 17 more times abruptly 
Yeah, if they don't answer after a thousand times, I think you should stop. All right, so next we need a noun. Um, let's see, let's go with, let's go with this one. What is this one? All is Not Forgotten by Wendy Walker, a favorite of mine. So we are looking for what, a noun, right? A noun. Um, psychiatrist, okay. Psychiatrist is our noun. Two more words. Next we need a plural noun and then we need a verb. So let us go with, I'm cheating. We're just, I just picked a random one. Uh, night film, we are looking for a plural noun. Doctors is our plural noun. And now we need a verb. And then I will be able to read you guys the whole entire Mad Libs that we just did. So what will be our next last book? What do we have up here? This book will be the one we use. What is this? <gasps> My lights, they fell. I will fix them, don't worry. But uh, we have them in the ashes for our last word. Touch is our verb. Touch is our verb, okay. And then we will be reading the Mad Libs. Let me fix my stuff that was bothering me. Okay, so now it's time to read our Mad Libs using our verbs, nouns, adjectives from our lovely books. So let's, let's do it. All right, so Christmas caroling is our Mad Libs. Let us go ahead and read it. So, tis the dead season for caroling. Here's how to make everyone's Christmas a little more merry and tiring. Gather a dozen of your late friends and family plates together. Pick out a few classic fiends to sing, like have yourself a better little Christmas, Silver Blades, and Frosty the Blood Man. Classic. Put Santa persons on everyone's heads and kneel to your neighbor's house. Knock a thousand times on the front wishbone. Nothing. Knock 17 more times abruptly. When your neighbor answers the psychiatrist, ask if he or she would like to hear you sing a song. If your neighbor says yes, sing your doctors out. If your neighbor says no, touch anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, my favorite part is the part where all of the songs are being listed. I think those nouns and verbs came out the best. I just, I laughed. So that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle to find words, pick out books, destroy my bookshelves, and make a funny little Mad Libs for Christmas. So if you guys are doing your own Mad Libs video or you have done one in the past, leave a link below. I would love to go check it out. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Remember to give this video a like if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my stuff. And hopefully I will see you all in my next Bookmas video. Bye!